Now what we're going to show you here is how to do an interrupted suture and how to do an instrument tie. Well, first of all you need to mount your needle and when you're grasping the needle you need to grasp it about two thirds of the way around. Ensure that you use the tip of your needle holder as well, this gives you much better control as shown here. Now, when you're passing the needle through the tissues, you've got to make sure that you rotate your wrist. This allows the needle to follow its own curvature and reduces tissue injury. Make sure you pull through your suture so that only a small amount is left at the end. This makes suturing a lot easier. Now, start at the short end and bring the needle holder up and wrap the longer end of the suture around it twice. This will be your first throw. It's important that your arms cross at this point to ensure that you've got a flat knot. You then reverse the process and bring the needle holder from the short end to the long end. And again, a flat knot should be thrown as here. Now here are just some close-ups of knots being formed. All of these are resulting in a reef knot, which is the most secure type of knot you want to have in this situation. And again, it's important to note that the hands are crossing to ensure that these knots are lying flat. You know, holding it from left to right and then from right to left. Now, a vicral suture only normally needs roughly three or four throws. When you're practicing it, it's worth putting a number in. Cut your suture to length, making sure you've got roughly a few millimetres to spare. 